Ladies and gentlemen, and all who may fall in between, we are back. Yes, we are back. It's not allegedly. We are really back. Another episode of I'll Apologize Later. I'm your host, Mouse Jones. Shout out to my guest last week, the OG Nia Lee. We appreciate you for coming out here and getting in some good old trouble with us and keeping up with the same energy. You know I love to keep that same energy. Having more beautiful women in here, having more beautiful conversation with these beautiful women. We got a su super, super surprise guest. But before I get into that, got to let you know what's on the uh, rundown for today. We're going to be talking about the NFL. Dumb. We're going to be talking about Jada and Gabrielle Union, A1. And we're going to be talking about a new dating trend that I may be guilty of. Now, I'm probably guilty. I'm most, I'm definitely guilty of this. But before I get into that, you already know somewhere around here, BT is going to put their whole disclaimer. Like, they're going to tell me to say allegedly, but they're going to give me a disclaimer. Whatever. They're going to put the disclaimer somewhere around here, but I don't give a that because I already told you that if I make anybody feel any sort of kind of way after this episode, I'll apologize later. I like a guy to like me more, so I, I have more. Like, you more. like he's like putty, so I just go. I'm, you ever seen Power Rangers? I'm a putty ranger. You feel me? <laughs> okay, Pe petty ranger. I'm that too. Whatever works for you. Whatever you want, that's me. Petty putty. Poopy the scoop. Right. Let's, listen, who told you? the Warriors just won last night? Shoot or shoot. But as you can see, it's a little different here. I'm setting the mood. I'm showing you little something. You gotta set a mood when you got a queen around. You see, I got the little bow tie over here. You know, you see the rose petals, you got the little candles lit. This is how you treat a queen, my This week I'm joined by Loving Hip Hop Zone, Gwyneth's first lady. Miss Talk to Me Nice. Dream Dog. We got Dream Dog. Dream, welcome. What's so up? I, I see you got the later. candles on the constructs, you know, BX. For you, for you, I pulled <laughs> no expense. For you, I told him, I said, run it up. You see, I got the little roses, you know what I mean, right here. Okay. You know what I mean, little, you know. Uh, You're supposed <laughs> to throw it at me. I, yeah, let me get you some fresh ones. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, because I lay them at your feet, you feel what I'm saying? You Ooh. know, and she got good toes. I just, I'm very appreciative of a woman with good feet. Right. Um, And she smells good. You know, I was close enough to make sure she smells good, so, you know, the, you he know. He was close enough not to look in my eyes, to look in this area. You have a mirror, right? You seen how you look coming out the house. You you look this good, I have to just take it all in. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. But how are you? How are I'm you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine. You Thank you weekend? for having me, of yes. Of course. Of course. I would be foolish not to have <laughs> you here. Pleasure. Shout out your, 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 your rep, Amber. She keeps grilling me. Um, oh, man. A little frightened? Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm going to keep it going. Okay. Um, but we're gonna jump into these topics. You ready? I'm ready. All right, now listen. No pressure. Oh my god, she looks so good. Oh my god. Uh, no Yo, pressure. Yo, stay I'm focused. I'm fo I stay focused. Gotta get it together. I'm sorry, y'all. We're gonna get into these topics. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm here. But we're gonna jump to the first topic. The NFL is now penalizing players 15 yards for kneeling or protesting during the national anthem. Can you can you imagine if your place of business or if Gwen and said, "Hey, Dream." If you really believe in something, we don't really give a f about that. We don't want to in, uh, uh, impede on what we're doing over here. So if you feel any way about women's rights or black women's rights, you got to shut the f up and just deal with it. And if you do say something, we're going to penalize you. We're going to take some of that bread. Well, I just feel as if nobody should tell me what to do at, at my job. Right. Especially when I work for myself. Right. So it's like, you got to do this, but you got to do it this way. I, I don't. I don't talk about that. If you want to sit down, if you want to stand up, whatever way you do it, as long as you don't disrespect it, I feel as if you should be able to do whatever you want to do. I, I honestly feel this is bullshit. The NFL, they are on some bullshit. Um, it, I'm never, I'm never gonna, I'm never going to use the word slavery, right? Because slavery takes away the fact that there's a choice to do this. I get it. There's a job that they're working, but um, I think to try and impede on someone's right, their God-given right, to protest. Think it's some bullshit. I would like to see the superstars. I would like to see the people who really can make things happen. Not the, you know, no disrespect to the third linemen and whatever y'all are. Like, Them stand up, yeah. right? Like, I want to see the superstars really stand up and make a choice. I get it. I know this money ain't guaranteed. I know that your your, 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 your livelihood is on the line. But I need you to under also understand that people who look like you, their lives are on the line. Their lives could depend on it. So um, I just want everybody to keep that same energy. Um, Next up. Gabrielle Union, Jada Pinkett Smith, two of the greatest uh, black actresses, actresses overall yeah. of our time. So unbeknownst to me, there was a like an underlying beef between them for like 17 years. 
alleged. I'm saying allegedly. I just found out about it. You know. You feel what I'm saying? So I guess they did. That's dope because they kept it under wraps. They kept it on and the low low. You know, we can't keep none they of that. They have no in Instagram industry. beef, none of that. Well, they too old. So I, I I love the energy. I love the space. I love the space that we're in where, uh, where creators get to create content, number mm-hmm. one. On and it was very, rules. like, you know, not planned. Like, right. It, it was, like, very, like, natural. Right. Like, I love the fact that, you know, during the, during the conversation, it wasn't anything, like, ambush. Like, they called each other, like, hey, listen. You know, we got over our issue now. Let's bring it to the table. Let's talk about it. Because I think that's important for our industry to see that there is a space for, okay, we had a problem. Now we don't have a problem. And it's okay to be public about not having that problem. Like, we don't, we no longer have to stand by it. What do you think about that? Because I know on Love & Hip Hop, you guys, you had a, your, your, your share of sit downs. Well, even before, you know, Love & Hip Hop, I bring it back to, because I was on the Bad Girls Club. Yeah. And if I cover and wine and actually sit down with the person that I had problems with or that I had an altercation with, I would love to do it because it also, and it's not really, it don't really be them. It be the fan pages, the fake pages, the blogs right. that, you know, juice up the arguments and the beefs. And it could be all better if we could just sit down and squash it. Like, And then it goes back to Love and Hip Hop with Mariah. When we did squash it, you know, and then we surprised the gram with a picture. They're like, oh, wasn't y'all beefing? You know, f- had up so yeah. it was just like you know we sometimes we're stronger together than we are apart once again shout out to black women getting shit done that's that's really all that boils down and shout, and to, black shout women. out to them keeping on a low and never being like bringing it to the gram like how most females yo that shit do. i don't respect you, that at all like i'm not a petty? big instagram arguer i believe in what well, i'm gonna see you one day <sighs> period what i told y'all what i told y'all we was meant to be moving on now there's a new date and trend out Okay, so orbiting to be exact, you guys go on a date, you begin dating. What's maybe. dating? Or we're not together or not? D- d- dating is, don't f- play with me. That's dating. What does that I, mean? Like that means we might not have a title, but don't play with me. What that means that, that I mean, could like you're the only person I'm supposed to deal with. Yeah, like yes. I want to know what's really dating. Like dating is all right. So when do you consider it dating? When you go on the first date? When I fall like, in love, duh. And how long like, it takes? If I like you, if no, nah, first of all, if I like oh, you, God. if I like you, love, if I like you, it's a dub. Let me see another. When do I'm you? Sure. How many days does it take for you to feel? It like could be that one. Is? It could be two. It could be a pre date. It could be uh, three and a half. I might fall in love after the first date, and I expect you to understand not to play with me. I just don't get it. Like I, one thing I I can't stand is a guy that always want to talk about the next guy. You know, a guy that always be like, oh. Um, this dude, and if you stop dealing with this dude, and it's just like, why did you decide to go on a date with me if you're gonna be talking about the next guy? To be honest, a lot that of kind of me away to be from honest, a lot. Might have want to go on a date with the other. <laughs> didn't know how to ask, so Yo. he went through a date through you. Stop bringing me up on Fossies. dates. Never mind, I'm a chill. <laughs> I just know that I'm a topic of a few dates. But like I was saying, oh the, please, what's so special about your dates, D man? Let me know. You see all this, right? And this is a regular. This is regular. <laughs> Oh my God. You could have at least got me some real ones. Cause For what? Because as soon as you would have did that, it would have broke apart. And right. I don't, want nothing, I don't want nothing coming from me to give to you to break apart. Okay, so what makes your date so special? My date's are special because I care, number one. What do you a do so special? Do you open care. doors? I, that's regular. Open doors. You don't. You ain't never going to touch a door around me. Never going to pull out your own seat around me. What else? Like, that's regular, know, though. I need to know what comes with the... Listen, I can't get... I'm not giving that in front of everybody. Uh, we, oh, yeah, right. When, Somebody might steal you. Exactly. Then they're going to be thinking they me. But like I was saying, orbiting is when you're dating for a while, and then you should stop abruptly. The person disappears. They ghost you, and then but they still interact with you on social media. Still like your pictures. Still retweet your tweets. Um, says hi to your mom on Facebook. All that other shit that you do. I'm guilty. I be orbiting, but not on purpose. I be forgetting. So basically, you watching face stalking, and that's I don't be stalking, but like. I don't, um, just because I stopped talking to you, just because I dub you don't mean I unfollowed you on Instagram. But what about when she get a new man? Uh, you don't ha- care? I'm happy. Okay. I might like the picture. Petty. You're Why petty. Why am I petty? You're petty. If you like the picture of her new man, but you don't like the other pictures? Oh, what other picture? I would like, if she post, sometimes what we- You the type to put a little caption, fire. Oh, that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. I use the fire emoji quick. The fire. Or the, the looking eye emoji. If, what? I'm, I stalk, I, not I stalk, but I or. You orbit, orbit. Right. Um, guys that I don't deal with no more just to see what they up to and mainly just to see who's their new female, you know. Right. And be like, mm, nah, not impressed, you know. So mm. it'll just be like, oh, I'll be like, Jesus oh, she's pretty. Christ. Oh, she's pretty. And then I'll go watch her page and I'll be like, oh, nah, she lacking. You know, you always got to find something. You always got to find something wrong. 
That, so, do you ever feel like a n- ever upgraded from you? Hell no. Are you dumb? I, 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 yes, yes, I I'm am. a better me since last year, the year before, 20, and every year I get better. Yeah. So I definitely, a thousand percent sure, know that none of my exes found a better one. Because right. guess what? They still will be on my line. Okay? All right, we're gonna, nice. we're, gonna, we're gonna cut that shit out. Suss me nice. Get off her line. Her <laughs> line is, it's, I'm there. My no but yeah, I just waiting, my always watch snaps and right. Instagram. You know, I don't follow them. I unfollow them. That's number one. I am queen unfollow. Wait, wait, unfollow, wait. but I still watch. Wait. <laughs> what? What I do? Yo. <laughs> so you unf. Wait, see, that's what I'm saying. I be still following you just because I dubbed you. Like, maybe it's because I don't really want to be in relationships. No, so it's that's like, the I'll first be, like, step. Talking to you. Even when I don't want to unfollow. Like I'm dating. not finna to see you pop up right. on my timeline with your Nike tags and all that. Like, we're not about to do that. Little work I feel subbed, but I'm just but saying. But we're not like... about to. I'm not. You're not popping up on my page, Perry. Every guy I, done, I dealt with in my past, they're so insecure. Mm. And they just feel as if it's always like, we're, I'm at one of my hostings on one of my shows and they got to be on you me. Like, old boy? Old boy with the furs. He's insecure? What? Boy, don't. I was asking. I was a- I can't ask a question. Tread lightly. I'm just asking a question. You know, I I remain respectful at all times. I just want to know if he was insecure. Maybe that's what the furs meant. What without if without always, further ado. What if you always wear the furs to cover up the insecurities? So, heads up. This week is going to Wear Orange. Shout out to wearorange.org. Uh, they're they're an organization coming together to make sure people know about. Uh, gun violence and make sure they're uh, they're knowledgeable about what's going on within the community and how to stop the innocent lives that's lost to gun violence, which we all need, right? Um, you know, I feel like the more people that stand up for it, you know, mm-hmm. they can actually make it happen. Yeah. So I I feel like why not start with us in our own community? If mm-hmm. we wanted to, uh, if we want to see a change, let's be the change. So make sure you head over to wearorange.org and so you can get all knowledgeable on any barbecues, marches, rallies, any of that. And let's uh let's really put let's really put some our, our money where our mouth is. Let's put our feet to the ground and get the work done. Do you so, feel like there's enough people trying to figure it out though? N- no, because I think everybody's trying to um be the best politician. Yeah, uh, and I, I feel, feel like, like a lot the, of people... the 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 this is the. This is just the thing to stand in front of right now, right? Like it could have been anything. It could be welfare. It could be any number, any number of options. Right now, it's gun violence, and I think politicians are finding the best way to make this political. Um, so I don't think enough people are fighting or trying to figure out. The I feel issue. like when it happens, like mm-hmm. the first week is, oh, did you hear about this? Oh, right. People posting it. Um, justice for this. Right. Justice right. for that. I have my little. Th- issues with the whole parkland thing but those kids at the bases they have the right idea i will say that they have the right idea and we need maybe we need more of that right even maybe we the... need the kids mm-hmm. uh showing hey my life matters i don't feel safe i feel scared there's really no there's, there's no there's no easy answer to this yeah, there's not. no quick answer to this um i would like to see there just being a better response but like i said i support anyone trying to figure it out and that is uh wear orange so wearorange.org get in tune and um that was heads up right so track and trash my favorite segment of the day i get to listen to music with my lovely guests and then we get to say the track which is good or is it trash traga traca you just say it traca oh my god what are y'all doing to me bt but fresh off the heels of a push a t ass whooping <laughs> Drake releases another record, uh, I'm Upset. So we're going to get into it, and then we are going to figure out this track of trash. You ready, Dream? I'm ready. All right. Every month, I'm supposed to pay her bills and get her what she want. I still got like seven years of doing what I want. My dad still got child support from 1991. Out of town, people love to pop a lot of and then come around. Word of Flacco Jody, he done seen us put it down. That's an Fix your face, cool. little thigh. <laughs> that was I'm Upset by Drake. And to be completely honest with you, I'm upset that I had to sit through that. So I, Drake, he can't do no wrong in my eyes. Oh. And that yeah. was just, I guess that was just like a check, he, you know, he had for the coins. I guess, because I hope he's good. It's I a follow-up. That shit sucks. Uh, he said his ch- his father still has child support from 91. Why is your father? Pay your... What's wrong with you? 
it's gonna be all funny games to push your teeth so your dad crack. Then then we're gonna see. Oh we're gonna come see. on, mouse. Listen, if I listen, that's what I would do. If I'm pushing tea, I'm selling drinks that crack. Like off rip. Like, yo, oh, you talking shit? I, I said at the beginning, but no, I have to say it again. I could tell you really a petty person. How? Like you really pay you really like you know when you do something to like get back at somebody and it's like petty like you really will violate. I mean I poke people in their head, but that's only if they No, violate. you will violate. Yes. But this shit is this record was good. You gotta watch the petty one. Watch me close. Mm. But don't watch me at all. Oh, don't watch me at all. Yo, why y'all keep she keep rolling letters and stuff? I am supposed to focus, y'all. How? You agree with me and you think this shit is trash or you agree with Dream because she's gorgeous or because you really like the record, let BT know below. Not me, because I don't give a f You can let them know at BT on all socials and you can follow and subscribe to at BT Networks on YouTube. I don't know if you've seen the other episodes, but this is a little segment we call Keep That Same Energy. Okay, okay? keep it. As you can see, I brought my octaves down. They real sexy right now. Cause I'm trying to keep the same energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now on your Instagram, you posted something that caught my, both of my eyes, not just one. Mm. Caught both of my eyes. Actually uh, made my heart flutter a little bit. I said, this is really the woman for me. She's not. She doesn't even know. Which, what post? It was something very petty. Something very petty. It said, Petition. blow his mood before he go out with his friends. And then you oh put three God. hard eye emojis. <laughs> All right, so truck is up, the sis. Truck, all right, so this is what you got to do. Right. You know when a guy wants to go out and you home. No, I don't know this because. Yeah, all right. You know when a female's about to go out and you're tight because you're home? Yeah. She's about to go out with friends? Yeah. Blow, blow theirs. Like, blow his. That's what, not blow like that, but. Hey, either way, this going to keep him home. Keep him home. But, not saying I got a n or something, but yeah, I'm just saying. I don't saying. care either way. All I'm saying I'm is before they go out, get them mad. What does that do, though? It makes me happy. So you know, <laughs> like, because you know Nick is dumb, right? You know we dumb. So you make us mad, and then we go out with our other dumb friends. Because men dumb. Then we get dumber when we get in a group. Then we no. come, we become one dumb to, person. The whole point is to get them mad so then they, the whole time they out, they calling your phone, blowing your phone up. Oh, That's some type of time. So and then you ignore them. Right, you know, like you know what happened. Like this is right? what, like, and then I posted the text. But what I did was, I was like, um, I'm not gonna answer my phone for the rest of the night. I speak to you tomorrow. Good night. Listen, to this was not, this all you can hear. But that's the energy. So keep that same energy. I told my producer, I said, my tan said we gotta treat this woman special. I really appreciate this it. woman. Is, so you need. No, you know, I'm really coming to, to too many interviews and get rose. You're never ever feet. going. Let me spread some more at your feet. Yeah. You know, you gotta spread more on your feet. You know, just some like more to get my the hand. visual, visual. Give me some of my oh, hand. You're using a pull out. It was for me, not for you. All of that. Come on, okay, man. Well, you know, it was cheap. Sorry. Julian, Julian you're That's fired. the problem. You said they cheap, meaning that you got me some cheap roses. I'm blaming Julian, not me. You could have been like, oh, no, those ain't those ain't good. Look at you. Was. I don't know what this was. I might call it asbestos. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but, you know, keep it real sexy. Hit the lights for me. Uh, my man Marvin. You okay. Know. You know. It's a mood. Bad boy. <laughs> you know? Just so you know we... No. You know, little... Hello, Ooh, ginger. A, did you hear the... <laughs> you little know. Little ginger ale for the culture? Just for us, you know, because this is special. You, you know. about to set up the whole thing. I mean, Gotta I, set the mood. I always dreamed of having a date with um, ginger ale. Well, I mean, I'm here to answer dreams, you know? Gotta answer dream doll's dream. You a dream chaser. So, to us. To us. <laughs> mm. What has dream doll been up to? Love and hip hop, you stepped on the scene, everybody took notice. Then you dropped the, uh, you dropped the tape. I happened to go to the listening floor. Really? Yes, I did. What you think about it? I liked it. Really? I genuinely liked it. I, you know, I ain't going to. Listen, even if you look good, I'm going to tell you shit garbage. As a female rapper um, who leans in, in a, uh, you know, leans into her, her attractiveness and her sexuality, mm -hmm. do you ever find yourself in a weird space where you're like, okay, nigga, interact with me like this, but it's probably because of the, rec the records I release. Or do you even care how how got you? Sometimes I'm, I'm not taken serious. And that's why when I do come to sessions, I'm with my team. You know, I like to do it in my comfort zone, in my studio. And it's just like, that's the thing. I'm not only just a pretty face and a nice body. Like, 
Like, I have some good records, and you're going to see, like, people you can't even imagine hit me up for features. And it was like, is that person just trying to talk to me or really trying to get a record, record done with me? I want the record. Like, I don't want all the extra stuff going along, all the uh, publicity. And, you know, I just want the record. Now, is it rough now to separate that? Is it rough to separate the business from the actual, you know, when you do want to meet somebody and you do want to have a relationship? I don't want it. Like, I've, I'm have i not going to say I like I'm some angel. Like, I right. dealt with guys in the music industry. Right. But it's just like, the shit you got to deal with, it's too much. Like, my next relationship, it will not be an Instagram thing because Instagram, like, tarnish your relationship. It does all the time. Fair. It, like, I don't need a public opinion on what my man's doing or how, or, or do Dream know mm. that he's doing that. I don't need it to be a public That'd be the worst. opinion. Right. You know? Like, it's too much. And it pushes y'all against each Didn't other. Did you get in some trouble for that before? I posted a boyfriend on Boyfriend Day, but it wasn't your boyfriend. Or well, boyfriend didn't know. God damn, man. Oh, that was actually not flat. It be, yeah, it got a little kick to it, right? Ooh. It's a little hot, almost like you're wearing a fur. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. Um, wait, wait a minute. Listen, Dream Doll does not belong to any man. That's a fact. You know, and stop stop watching TV because you ain't going to. I gonna, don't watch TV. You ain't fitting in to be judging me off nobody's television. But when you see me right. on TV with mm -hmm. someone, doesn't mean I'm with someone. Let that marinate. Mm. Talk about this love and hip hop thing. Let's talk about this. We know I'm a huge love and hip hop fan. Allegedly. Wow. <laughs> no allegedly there. Love, love and hip hop. But uh, I hear a lot of mixed reviews from people who are no longer on it. Uh, it whether it hurt them or helped them, a lot of people feel like it hurt them more. How do you think love and hip hop worked for you? Love and hip hop actually helped me. Mm -hmm. um, reason I say that is because. I come from, you know, being on TV. Yeah. And um and also the first day my my Everything Nice aired on Love and Hip Hop it, it increased 30 30,000 was it 30,000? 30, 30,000 in the stream mm -hmm. alone. So it was just like a great promotion for my music. Now on the drama half, I mean, I was never no type of female that turned down drama, so it was just like it is what it is. Dream has been riding shotgun holding it down. So now we're going to figure out P.O.P. <laughs> now we're gonna figure out who's gonna hold that L. So as you know, every week I figure out somebody who was bullshitting. And out. No different this week. This week I'm on my Twitter. I come across a video of a young man asking to fight a police officer with boxing gloves on. I said, "Oh, this is about to knock him out, son. He's about to." I thought he, you asked for the fight. So, I'm going to let you guys take a look at this. Maybe and y'all tell me what y'all thought. Oh! 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 Right, we do a lot of talking in the culture about, yo, if a cop do, I know I've said it. Like, if a cop take the badge off, he take the shit off, give me the fair one, I'm going to I you had the chance and you didn't succeed. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Don't ask for this shit if you can't do it. Because he looks shaky he from the beginning. He got a lot of hits in the cop. If that was fighting a regular, I'm not sure he would have won. If you look right here, the looked like he was about to go down. He looked a little wobbly here. Man. Stop asking for these fight with these police officers if you can't beat them. Because then you make all of us look bad. Now they're going to think all of us. <laughs> they're going to think all of us can't fight. Slap that ass up a few times. And I'm not having that shit. All right? They already feel empowered to do f to us. Now they know you can't fight. And they going to really be wilding our shits up. Got to stop this shit. He probably a local officer, too. <laughs> that's going to see your ass again. And be Yo, you can't talk. Up. Your ass up. You can't talk shit to this cop no more. Yo, pig, shut your bitch ass up before I punch you up again. <laughs> like, that I'm never going to lock you up ever again. He's just going to punch you up in front of your kids. Yeah. Like, imagine. And all your friends was there, too. That was type of embarrassing. Yo, that you're going to have to live with this L for the rest of your life. My <laughs> Not just here. Like, you're going to cook out. They'd be like, come here, Ronell. You remember when that cop punched your face off? <laughs> you, we going to remember Ronell for always getting punched up by the cop. And that is where you're going to lie, sir. So this is for you. God damn it. And shout out to the police officer. Maybe that's what we should be doing out here. Like, just one-on-one. -on -one. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you really want to take 
Yeah, just give them a fair one. Don't think so, because what happens when they lose? What you will. Well, that is all. That's all we have today, y'all. That uh, I've been blessed. I've been graced by the presence of this queen, this Nubian goddess, dream Ooh, doll. You make me feel so royal. Well, cause you are. Okay. Let me be your T'Challa. Okay. But I hope you enjoyed yourself. I did. I hope you felt real special. You know, I hope you, you know, let the mood talk to you and all that. Tell the people where they can find you. Keep okay. up with you. All the good stuff. So you can follow me on Instagram at dreamdoll underscore underscore. Real Dream Doll. Snapchat Real Dream Doll. Twitter. And make sure I go check out my videos on YouTube. And go check out Life in Plastic. And stream everything nice for the culture. And tune in to Life in Plastic Part 2. When it dropped this summer, 18, okay? And last but not least, the DP, Kev Spence, he is in Mexico getting married. So shout out to you, my n***a. Congratulations on that. Uh, come back uh, soon, please. Don't have too much fun. So if you've watched this and you felt any kind of way, if I made you mad, if I made you happy, if I made you upset, if you just enjoyed looking at Dream Dolls half as much as I did, let us know below. Make sure you subscribe to us at BT on all social platforms. And subscribe on YouTube at BT Networks. And if you want to let me know, because I don't give a if you want to let me know what you really think of me, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at mouse underscore Jones. And if I made you feel any sort of kind of way during the recording of this episode, I promise I'll apologize later. Psych. <laughs>